Boujou, Kinemage Nene Ireland and Dishnikas, coming live with the newest episode of My Math, Chapter 1, Lesson 5. All right, we're back here in Chapter 1, Lesson 5, Hands-On Understanding Place Value. We've been looking a lot at what decimals would be as fractions and vice versa. The essential question in Chapter 1 remains, how does the position of a digit in a, in a number relate to its value? We now know that a 7 in the hundredths place has a far different meaning than a 7 in the hundredths place. So let's get into drawing. Use miles to describe the relationship between the value of the digits and the decimals 0.77 and their place value position. So I could show you the model to show 77 hundredths. So let's pull out my annotation tool here. You can fill it in in the book as so as I get my annotation tool back here, there we go. I'm gonna to have to draw and set. Now we're looking at the first digit. The first seven tells me I need to color in seven rows. So you should cover in seven whole rows. I'm on Niwin, Nanin. Okay. Now the second seven tells me I need seven more. It means I should have three left. So now I have drawn in 77. Did you notice that I did a lot more coloring in for that first seven than the second? If not, then we will soon catch up to it. So in word form, 70 what? 77. Type that in there for you. The standard form, 0.77. Place value chart can really help you out here. You see that we have ones, that's still in your whole number. We're not dealing with any ones. So I'm gonna put a zero on the ones. How many tenths? Move it over here to seven. And then in the hundreds, seven. So you should have that filled in somewhat similar to this before we move on further down page 37. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. If you need to, at any point, if you need to pause the video to draw something in, or if I'm moving a little fast and you need to stop me for a second, go ahead and hit that pause button. You're in control of your own education at home. If you need to pause something and write it in or double check, by all means, please do such. So I'm gonna keep moving down here onto my next slide once I close this out here. And that's going to be the step two. 77 hundredths. So the value of the digit seven in the tenths place is 0.7 or, back to my annotation tool to type it in, seven tenths. That's that first seven. But the value of the, in the hundredths place is no longer seven tenths, it's seven hundredths. The difference between seven dimes and seven pennies. Use the calculator to find 0.7 divided by 0.07. So how many times does seven go into 70? If you said 10, you have the right answer. So we're gonna say, wait a minute, we talked about this. 10 times greater, and it's just in the next spot over in the place value? Huh. So the value of a seven in the tenths place is 10 times greater as much as the value of seven in the hundreds place. The value of the digit seven in the hundreds place is how many times as much as the value of seven in the tenths? Well, that's, the, that's gonna be slightly different. That's gonna be one tenth. Oops, a little too far over my friends. 
they fix that for you, for those of you who keep it score at home. So we have one over 10. So what we're starting to realize is as we go this way to the left on the place value chart, the value of a digit is 10 times greater than the value of that same digit in the previous column in the place value. We're going the other way, going this way, the value of the digit is one tenth the value of that same digit in the previous column. That, my friends, is really what chapter one is trying to impart in you. If you remember that, you will have definitely earned a three on at least that particular standard. All right, we're gonna move on into the, the try it. Let me close, clear this and close that one and move on here. Try it, and there's gonna be two parts to this one as well. Use, and you won't always see it exactly. Describe the relationship between the value of the digits and the decimal 0 0.027 and their place value position. So the first thing I need to do is get my annotation tools and write this in. Well, there are zero ones. There are zero tenths. There are two hundreds. And there are seven thousands. There we go. Point zero two seven. Make sure you copy that in before we move on to the next one. And as always, I always have to clear this to be able to go to the next slide. I apologize for that. So continuing on, you see it colored in here. The digit in the thousands place is, well, what digit is there? Is a seven. It has a value of, now, here's where it gets interesting. We start zero point. These numbers have to be zero because this is seven thousandths. If I put a seven here, it'd be seven tenths. If I put a zero, seven there, it's seven hundredths. But right there, it's seven thousandths. So these became zeros. If this digit were to move to the hundreds place, it would have a value of. So what would the seven be in that second one? So I started with a zero point and it's a zero, and then there's, now it's a seven. If we do the, but this spot, we'd have 0 0.7. Do you notice, um, as I move to the spot, I have less zeros between my decimal point and the digit? It also means value, at, the digit in each place has a value that's one-tenth as much as the one to its left. So when it's in the tenths place, it's 0.7. If I go over to the hundreds place, it, I divide it by 10 or take, it has a one tenth as much of a value 0 0.07. Now it's 0 0.007 because I divided 0 0.07 by 10. So now you should really be in a pattern here. So let's bounce into the practicing. Right, let's do number five together. Five, six, and seven. Use each model to write a decimal place in standard form and word form. So the value of the digit in the tens place is blank times as much. As a digit in the hundreds place. Well, if you remember, it's automatically going to be 10 times as much. It is 0.55, 55 hundredths. Now you go ahead and do number six. Pause the video and when you're ready, come back. Welcome back here. So let's use this here. The value in the hundreds place, 0 0.09 is one tenth as much as in the tenths place, 0 0.9. Nine pennies is one tenth as much money as nine dimes. And you can see there's just one lonely square that's not colored in. All right, let's go to step seven, or I'm sorry, number seven. Go ahead and fill this one out, pause your video, and come back when you're ready.
Welcome back. The value of the digit in the thousands places blank times as much as in the hundreds. Well, we know that this pattern continues on, and so it's one tenth, one tenth as much as the digit in the hundreds. And if we went to the ten thousandths, that'd be one tenth of the value of the thousands place. So in here, 0 0.022, there are no whole ones colored in. There is no whole slices. There are two columns and two blocks, 22 thousandths. All right, your next step for us will be to work on the homework. There are a few problems that we have skipped. If you need to practice and you want to check in with me, I always encourage that. You're going to do the homework on 41 and 42. And then if you have the opportunity to take a picture and send it to me or bring it to our next live session, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I will be getting back to you with your recent quiz that you took. If you haven't yet taken that quiz, please do such. Uh, that way I can give you the assistance you need. But for tonight, I'm going to wish you a minute, Gijigad, and I'm a pee.